Hello and welcome home, my name is Wolf, and today we're going to continue playing some Resident Evil 7. So, finally just now got off the ship with uh, playing as Mia, so we're going good as Ethan again. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to save. Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. Yes, I would definitely like to save. Very, very professional of me. Okay. So I managed my inventory. I am good to go. How many coins do I have? Let me just check the box real quick. Um, I have so many chem fluids. Wow. I'm not running low. Hmm. Antique coin, defense coin. Since I have so much inventory space, I'm wondering if I should just take this with me. Nah, I'm good. I have four antique coins, which is not enough to buy. I uh, it's enough to buy health. Uh, oops. Fucking no! I want to check what that is. What reloading speed? I'd rather take reloading speed. So ship swamp lab. Going down into the lab. Here we go. Oh, hey, burner fluid that I don't need. I'm just gonna immediately drop this off because that is precious inventory space I don't want to waste. Except I should probably just take the burner. It's hinting again. Can I have a fucking flashlight, please? That would be... That would be cool. Oh. Can already see how we're starting this off. Oh yeah, I like this knife a lot better. Oh god! What the hell? This motherfucker's not fucking around. I'm gonna die already, aren't I? Oh, wait, no. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Crisis averted. Let's go grab a strong health pot. That's embarrassing. Great way to start. Yeah, so... Just avoid fighting with the damn knife in general. That's, that's the vibe I'm really getting. Let's just make one. I don't know why they don't stack in the box. Probably not so that it doesn't confuse me as to why it's not stacking in my inventory. But... What the fuck? Use it. Thank you. So let's put that away, because that was a mistake. There's a lot of these guys out here. Oh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of guys out here. I don't really want to fight them, cause I, but I probably have to. So many. Yeah, let's switch my pistol, because I already damaged both of you. Fuck this. This is like annoying. Groups of enemies worked in the previous games, but I don't I don't know how it feels in this one. Oh. Yeah, I really wish sure it was a better indicator on whether or not they were dead, because I feel really shitty shooting straight through them. Wait, yeah, just already. Alright, cool, here we go. Give me something worthwhile for killing them. Shotgun gels? Yeah, I got... How was this? Oh, my favorite. Wifey Woo packed a real good lunch for me today. Strong chem fluid? Cool. Or for the sake of not wasting time, I'm not going to go throw this back into my box like I usually do. 
Down into the abyss. This does not scream bad at all. The circuit board for this looks a little shitty. Maybe this thing works. Oh, it's a good thing I can hear the thunder all the way down here. Gives me a little bit of taste of home. I'll say what I will about this place, at least it's well lit. God, I... I just like dread fighting entirely in this game. Oh god. He hits fucking way too... What am I supposed to do about that? Just shoot? Okay, I'm glad I didn't put another shotgun shell into his face. I guess that's my fault for not reloading. I'm still green. I see you there. Wish I could pick it up. Oh, wow. I thought we made it out of Lucas's fuckland. Coming right back into it. Oh, motherfucker, I hear you. Where are you? Maybe I can use these to my advantage. I, I can, kind of. Oh my god, die. Hey. That's pretty good. I didn't even see you coming. I'm glad that uh, that trap had my back. Is there anything else to look out for? I don't even know why I have this out. I should just have the shotgun at the ready. Alright, is this one of those no turning back points? It is one of those no turning back points. Here we stand at a crossroads. Oop! I see bombs. Oh, my favorite. I hear you. You can't sneak up on me. Ka chow! Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I am. I am super dead. They ambushed me out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to survive two shotgun shells to the face each. It's uh, really hard to aim in this game. Mostly because... Uh, I had to stretch. Uh, mostly because the enemies move a lot more than they have in previous games. I've always been super stiff. You can attach remote bombs to enemies while grappling with them. So if they grab me and I switch to the remote bomb, I could just stick it to them. That'd be pretty good. God damn it, I have to do this again. Hey, bye bye. that. I'm just gonna run right back over here. Okay, so that one blew first. And then this one's gonna blow again. Right? It is. We got this synchronized swimming competition here. I think they're taking gold. That was a lot easier once I did absolutely nothing.
Okay, so let's be ready for these assholes. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not using that fucking knife. That thing is a death trap. Hey! What? Short control burst. Oh my god, dude, you are a damn tank. Holy shit, these guys did not want to die. Alright, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Oh, wait. This is a dead end, I think. Which means loot. Yeah, give me that magnum ammo. Too bad I don't even have the magnum on me. I might just take the magnum over the fucking pistol, because the pistol does nothing. It's not the best weapon in the game like it was in previous games. Holy shit, you fucking guys just don't quit. I'm getting the vibe that I'm gonna have to kill all of them as I go through. Yeah, this pistol sucks. Fucking or not. Yeah, I need to get rid of this thing. This is not doing it for me. God, do you just fucking die? What am I stuck on? Oh, that. Okay. Oh, silly me. I could have just killed him with this. No, actually, no, probably not. Some tells me that was a bad idea. Oh hey, my health is yellow again. It's a good thing I have all of this shit. Is there anything over here? Nope. I like how it decimated that wooden barricade, but this piece of wood in between it is just totally fine. Yeah, I'm so getting rid of this pistol. I can just use this for shooting those little bobbleheads. That's all the pistol's useful for me. Like, honestly, all it does is shoot those damn bobbleheads. Anything worth grabbing over here? I'm taking that fucking pistol off. I'm just gotta put the knife on, because at least this has a better use than that stabbing those damn boxes. And then it explodes! That one's good. Thank god. The monsters don't even make the materializing sound anymore. They just appear out of nowhere. The gentlest touch. Ah, oh, fucking. I don't. There has to be a way to tell them apart because if they just actually is no way, that's kind of fucked. You should not. In a game like this, you shouldn't have to expend ammo to open up the boxes. Ooh, somebody. I interrupted somebody's meth lab over here. Anything else for meth creating? Oh, I see you there. Steroids. Fucking awesome. Yeah, give me that shit. Increases health. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, fucking. Gives me the shivers. 
sent Friday, January 16th, 2015. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering if this whole family obsession, something you guys programmed into her, it's kind of fucked up. So is this where they made the little girl? Or what? Friday, November 4th, 2015. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Eveline would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bio weapon is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Friday, September 1st, 2016. Eveline's family's obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever somebody new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Yeah, okay, so... Evie is the grandma. That has to be it. The grandma is Evie. And then... Hold up. Is Evelyn and Evie two different people? Because I figured Evie was just a short... short for... E figured Evie was just short for Evelyn, but yeah, no. it. They've been saying Evelyn, so Evie and Evelyn are two different people. It has to be. Eveline tissue samples. I, that's so weird, though, because this says E001. And E001 was Evie, wasn't it? Because it had the picture of the grandma. Infection report. Can I read this? No? I probably can. The reports of... De this report details the, the blah, 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 blah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, I can't read that. I mean, I probably can, but I'm not going to sit here and stick my face in the screen. What is this? Am I finally going to get down to the bottom of this? Ten minutes after dose. Death. E-neurotoxin. E-series dosage test. Five minutes after dose. Vomiting. That's a little girl. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. Is that when they turn white and just dissipate into powder? Let's see some pills. Here. Pills here. Now let's hold off for a second. Just check the room real quick. Am I able to. Oh, I can read these. Okay. Eveline's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has certain elegance to it. Yeah, well, the monsters are fucking gross. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing stuff on samples of Eveline's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify. But if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects, rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to would enhance its effective or effects to extreme potency. 
becoming a compound we now call e-neurotoxin, which fucks blah 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 in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Eveline's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments we found on mur multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if they were as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she is instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. You know what I think would be an interesting twist? Is if the old lady was doing all of this, and she was the one obsessed with family, and she was controlling Evelyn in the same way it's making it seem like Evelyn's controlling everyone else. Um, okay, yeah. So let's see if we can read this one. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with the E-series weaponized assets, hereafter refold as to mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself, and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from the test subjects and found that they were able to cope the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon com comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Wait, was that? Okay. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. So it's making it seem like the bakers are just the most recent people infected by Eveline. Um, I mean, that was obvious already, but they were the most recently infected, and it's talking about it as if when they turn into the monsters that I'm fighting now, because those are clearly people who have been infected for a while, it's talking about it as if those ones are stronger, but clearly Jack and Marguerite are significantly stronger than these monsters are. Alright, let's see. What is in here? Target acquired. Missile lock. Oh. Ew. So, what... Do I do this? E-neurotoxin. Destroys cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Oh. Oh, fucking gross. Uh, use only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin must be f first stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of E-series cells into the neurotoxin container. So is this the cure? I mean, this is the cure, assuming you've only been infected for like a minute. So I'm wondering... Either this is going to be used to, oh yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, okay, so that, it just described what it's used for, killing Eveline. Flame rounds, yeah, I can't wait to not use these, because I don't use the grenade launcher. Neuro rounds, it's giving me some hints here, should probably use the grenade launcher. Let's not take that, <clears throat> for obvious reasons. Uh, let's drop those. I'm gonna mix some more first aid meds. Let's take my 
herbs. Hold up. Let's just manage some inventory real quick. Okay. So I need the knife. I'm not going to take the grenade launcher with me. That takes up too much inventory space. Uh, I like the remote bombs. Should I take the magnum? I'm going to take the magnum. put that over the remote bomb and hope that I don't need the remote bomb. Is there magnum? Oh, yeah. One bullet. Actually, I'm not going to take the magnum because I only have three shots for it. And that is not nearly enough. Fuck it. Let's do this. I'll take all of my flame rounds. I have so much burner fluid. But I'm not taking it. So whatever boss I'm coming up against is going to get fucking slaughtered. I wonder if they're going to make me fight Evelyn for some reason and then just stick her with the cure when she's at her weakest. That would seem a little counterintuitive. I don't see why it wouldn't work if you just stuck her in the beginning. Anyway, I know this is a shorter episode, but I'm going to call it right here because there might be a boss fight in a long string after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed so far. We learned a lot more about the lore. I have some speculations about Grandma's part in all of this, and hopefully we'll get some more answers uh, soon. I don't know how much longer the game is. It's been building up Evelyn like she's gonna be like a final boss of sorts but grandma has to be the final boss um so yeah we'll pick this up again soon thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you all later